welcome children to your English language class. I hope you are drink of health and taking good care of yourself. Children, I hope you have started watching the videos and doing your assignments. In the last video, I talked to you about the parts of a sentence, that is the subject and the predicate. Today I am going to teach you a new topic, that is articles. Children, right from KG you have been learning about articles, that is A, AN and THE. But children, as you move on to your higher class, the topic becomes elaborate. So as I teach you children, please look on the board and concentrate. Children, you know that there are three articles, A, AN and THE. A and AN are indefinite articles and THE is definite article. Now I'm going to tell you what is the meaning of indefinite and definite. See when your mother tells you to go to a shop and buy a pen and eraser and egg and a tube of toothpaste. So she has asked you to buy any pen. It can be any pen of your choice. It can be of any color. It can be of any brand. An eraser can be of any shape, any color, any brand. An egg, it can be any egg. You can pick any egg and a tube of toothpaste. It can be of any brand. She has not told you to buy a particular brand. So you're not talking about a particular thing. You're talking about it in general. So a pen, an eraser, an egg, a tube of toothpaste here are indefinite articles. We are going to deal with how we use, where we use a and where we use and later on but we should know that a and an are indefinite articles. Now let us come to the definite articles. When you talk about the blue pen in the pink packet, so somebody to tell the shopkeeper to give you the blue pen in the pink packet. That means you are talking about a particular pen and you want that particular pen. The star-shaped green eraser. You want the star-shaped green eraser. You want a particular eraser. So we use the article the here. The first egg in the crate. You want the first egg in the crate. That particular egg you want. So you're talking about it. You want that particular egg. So you use the article the here. The Colgate toothpaste on the third shelf. You want that particular toothpaste on a particular shelf. So again, the article the is used. Okay, children. So you have to remember that a and an are indefinite articles, and the is a definite article. I hope to hear it is very very clear. Now, children, let's learn about the indefinite article. A and AN first. Okay? So as I teach you, please pay attention. How to use A and AN and where to use A and AN. First we learn the usage of the article A. It is used before nouns which begin with a consonant sound. Children, you know that there are 26 letters in the English alphabet and from out of them, 5 are vowels and 21 are consonants. And you all know that there are 5 vowels are A, E, I, O, U. And we have been learning right from KG. So when I say before nouns which begin with a consonant sound, the word should begin with a consonant sound and it should not begin with a vowel sound. The second one, it is used before a singular countable noun. You have to keep in mind that the article A is used before a singular countable noun and the third one before a vowel which has a consonant sound. 
Okay. Sometimes what happens? We have words like university, unicorn, unique. They start with a vowel, but they have a consonant sound u. So we don't say an university. We say a university, a unicorn, a unique. Okay. This is something which you need to keep in mind. And then we have the usage of the article an. An is used before words with a vowel sound. An egg, an apple, an umbrella. Okay. We have the word beginning with a vowel sound. Before a single countable noun. Again it is used before a single countable noun. Singular countable noun. When I say an egg, it is singular in number and it is countable. Okay? When I say an umbrella, it is singular in number and it is countable. Before a consonant which has a vowel sound. Sometimes words like honesty. Okay? It starts with a consonant H. But H is silent. We don't say a honest. We say an honest. Because the sound of the vowel is there. I hope till here it is clear children. Children, we are going to learn about the article the. That is the definite article. How it is used and where it is used. So please pay attention as I teach you. The first one. It is used to refer to a noun that has already been talked about before. For example, if I say a bird is sitting on the tree and the next time I say the bird is green in color. So I am talking about the bird which I had already talked about in the first slide. So a bird is sitting on the tree, the bird is green in color. Next one, to refer to the names of a group of islands. The Andaman and Umar Islands, the Lakshadri and so on. It is used to refer to the names of mountains, rivers and mount monuments. For example, we say the Yamuna River, the Ganga River, the Brahmaputra River. Okay? And we say the Mount Everest, when I talk about a mountain. And monuments, we say the Taj Mahal, the Red Fort. Okay? It is used to refer to nouns that are only one of its kind. The moon, the sun. It is also used to refer to similar nouns that refer to a whole category. When I say the lion is the king of the jungle. Okay children, this is the way we use the article. So you have to keep in mind. I hope now it's clear the three articles A and and the. Now children, let's do exercise A on page 13 of your joyful learning book. Okay, so I'm going to do this on the board and before I Say the answer, you think of the answer in your mind. Okay? Let's fill in these blanks with the articles A or A. Here we have the word uniform. It starts with the vowels, but it does not have a vowel sound. It has a consonant sound. U. So we are not going to use and with this. We are going to use a uniform. We are going to say. Okay. Now number two. We have European custom. Here again we have a vowel. But we have a consonant sound. European. So we are going to use a European custom. Number three. Our class. Here it starts with a consonant, but H is silent. We say R. It has a vowel sound. So we say an R plus. Number four, it has a vowel sound as well as it has a vowel here. So we say an elevator. 
Number five. Inverter. It starts with a vowel sound. So an inverter. Number six. Tire traveler. Tire. It starts with a consonant sound. A tire traveler. Number seven. Important letter. Important. It starts with a vowel sound. So an important letter. Number eight. Enormous pumpkin. Enormous. It starts with a vowel sound. So an enormous pump. Pumpkin. Number nine. Dangerous situation. It starts with a consonant sound. So a dangerous situation. Then number ten. Interesting story. It's interesting starts with a vowel sound. So we see an interesting story. Okay, children. Now, children, let's do exercise C of page sixteen from your joyful learning book, so that your concept becomes very clear about articles, and you know where to use indefinite articles and where to use definite articles. So, as I read it out for you, and I fill in these blanks. With the articles, I want you also to take your book and complete your book. Okay? Penguins are one of the most beloved animals in the world. Penguins are found in Antarctica, the Galapagos Islands, Australia. And South Africa. Penguins are birds that cannot fly but love to swim. A typical penguin can spend at least half of its life swimming in ice cold ocean water. It can swim very fast and leap out of the water and dive deep looking for food. A layer of fat together with a layer of air keeps penguins warm in the cold water. I hope this topic is clear to you children. Please keep watching the videos and doing your assignments and do, please do watch this video two to three times so that your concept about this topic becomes very clear. Take care, thank you and have a nice day.